it's probably been about 86 days since, no, 80 days, 86 days? It's been a lot of days since I did my last uh, vlog. When, uh, when I first started out, I was going pretty hard and I was dropping them every couple days at the front end of the school. And then stuff started to get in the way and it got increasingly difficult to think about putting down a reflection when there was a real cost. There was a cost. If, if I were taking time to do the reflection, then that time, I'm sure I was feeling I should have been using it somewhere else. So here's what I'm kind of thinking about right now. Last week we had a PD day and I'm sitting in the PD day, the PD training, sorry. And all of a sudden I had this slight, very thin sense of, of calmness. And it was, you know, it seemed extraordinary, but I didn't know, I didn't know what was fueling it. I just, I felt kind of really kind of chill. Like it was, I was doing some cool learning, connecting with my colleagues. I was interested in what was being delivered, but I couldn't really tag, tag down exactly what sparked that sense until I started to back off the thought a little bit and I started to realize in, in even a small way that I'm starting to figure out some of the big questions that I had in the beginning of the semester. Now, the fact that I haven't been posting the vlogs is a direct result of me being so completely buried in my own prep that there just wasn't, there wasn't the extra resources. I didn't have, I didn't have space to feel inspired and I didn't really have the energy to kind of motivate myself into that creative space. And you know what? It's unfortunate because the stuff that I've been prototyping and working on in my new position, I wish I had captured more of my thought process that was going into it um, in its development. Because now I'm, I'm, I'm at the other side where I've developed a lot of programming. And as I said, I'm starting to feel kind of cool and calm. What I really wanted to connect with at this moment though is, so right now I'm in my 15th year of teaching and just started a brand new portfolio at a new school. And something that isn't often talked about when you talk about the job that is teaching is that there really is only so much time in the day to connect with stuff and to do stuff and to still feel well and connect with your own life, to be able to leave work at a reasonable time. And when you leave work, you're actually leaving work. You're not still dropping in, uh, you know, into your, your emails and dropping into your prep at all. So one of the things I've started to give a lot of consideration to right now are, are the trade-offs. And I think that if you decide to go 24 seven at teaching, and that includes pursuing digital and pursuing analog EDU topics, then I believe that you're gonna start to feel pulled really, really thin. And that's where I was getting to in early October. So my vlogs fell off. And I started this conversation about trade-offs with another colleague and I felt as if this isn't something that is talked about in a really open fashion. Um, there is a high expectation in school that teachers are not only connecting with their classroom, but they're connecting with the community at large. And in order to connect with the community at large, there's the activities that happen outside the class, which are fantastic. But that's in addition to your already large workday. So as I'm sitting there and I'm feeling this sense of calm, I actually had what I thought was a little bit of an epiphany. I had a moment where I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna join a committee, which is kind of remarkable because that wouldn't necessarily be everybody's first instinct to join a committee. But all I'm gonna point out is that in that space where I finally felt like I had a handle on my portfolio, I did find the space to think about taking part in something extracurricular. Um, though connected to curriculum. And I just, I would like to be in more conversations where we really analyze, really, really analyze what it means to be committed to education beyond the classroom and having some open conversations around how that impacts your wellness. And, and it isn't, it, it can come down to sort of a zero sum equation as in by taking the time to invest in things um, alongside your work in EDU, you are taking time from other spaces. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I'm not saying it's a good thing, I'm just saying I haven't had a lot of conversations specifically around trade-offs, where by making that decision, you are deciding 
in deciding to do something, you're also deciding to not do something. I'm not going too far into this right now, but this frame moving forward about trade-offs and really looking at some of my habits so that I can go deeper sort of on fewer things, then I think there's something to that, at least in this stage of my teacher life, I think that this is really where, where my heart is, like not spreading it out so thin so that I have my fingers in a lot of different things just to feel productive. I think for me, where I'm gonna go next, next is having fewer things that really anchor me to what my, I guess kind of like what my, what the core is of me as a teacher. And it was just, it was funny when I felt that calmness that one of the things I thought, I'm like, I think that I could go join a committee. Like I feel like I have something under control and I could contribute. So that's just where I wanted to leave this one. I'm gonna do, uh, I think I'm gonna have space to be able to do a few more vlogs. So thinking forward, I'm gonna be scrutinizing, really looking at and kind of teasing apart some of my habits where I might just be giving away time to things that aren't really essential, I think, to me developing my teacher craft. And as I said, 14, 15 years in, it's kind of refreshing for me to be looking at my career in this lens because I definitely know that there's some, well, some refreshment that I wanna start working on. And of course, I would love to connect with other people that are sort of um, starting to rediscover their teaching craft in a way where they wanna make changes and they wanna tweak things a little bit. Would love to chat that one out. But for now, have a great weekend.